Do you know there are some animals who travels from one habitat to another habitat? This is called migration. They all migrate between habitats two or more times a year. Animals move to find food or shelter or to have young ones. They travel over land, through water, or by air. Migration is not easy. During their journey, animals faces hunger, predators, and other type of dangers. Migration is a pattern of behavior. There are two important factors that make migration different from any other type of animal movement. First, migration happens seasonally, and the second, migration involves a return journey. Animals migrate across the land using routes their ancestors have followed for years. For example, pronghorn migrates from their summer habitat to their winter habitat every year. Pronghorn graze in the Wyoming Grand Teton National Park all summer. In winter, snow buries their food. So, to survive, pronghorn travel south where food is easier to find. This route is called the path of pronghorn. It is about a 200 mile migration from the desert of the Green River Basin to the mountains of the Grand Teton National Park. They return to their northern home in spring. Many animals migrate in groups to stay safe from predators. Huge herds of African wildebeest migrate four times a year seeking fresh grass. They travel around 1800 miles a year, but their trip can be dangerous. If chased by predators, wildebeest herds gallop for short distances. Their hooves pound the ground and raise thick dust clouds. The dust hides them from the danger. More than 1.5 million wildebeest migrate every year, and it is the largest mammal migration in the world. Other than land, animals migrate through water also. For example, sea animals. Grey whales live in the northern water all summer. They feast on zooplankton. In fall, they won't get enough food. So, whales migrate toward the south. It can take up to 4 months for whales to reach the warm tropical water. This is their winter home. Here, the female whales give birth to young ones. When food grows hard to find, whales move back to their north house again. Another highly migratory marine animal species is leatherback turtle. Leatherback turtle is a reptile and is the largest of all the sea turtles. Leatherback turtles migrate long distances yearly, swimming over 12,000 miles between their nesting and feeding grounds. They are very good divers and occur in all the oceans except Arctic and Antarctic. Millions of birds and colorful butterflies migrate through the air. Butterflies and birds fly high in the air where wind currents help them to move. One such example is the ruby-throated hummingbirds. They spend their summer in the United States and Canada. They eat insects and suck nectar from flower. Each fall they migrate to Central America. They fly non-stop for more than 30 hours across the Gulf of Mexico. Whether by land, water or air, all animals must prepare for their trip. Some animals gain weight because this fat provides fuel for migration. One such example is monarch butterfly. Monarch butterfly add fat by sipping nectar. Even in birds, they molt the old and worn feathers before migrating. They grow strong and new ones for their new trip. These new feathers help birds like whooper swans to fly long distances. Migrating animals also take breaks to rest and eat. Sandhill cranes spend the winter in southern US states. In spring, they fly to the northern United States or Canada. More than 500,000 cranes stop along the Platte River in Nebraska. They stay nearly a month eating grain. left in the field this food gives them energy to continue their trip migrating animals don't have maps or gps units instead animals use their senses and memories to find routes some animals use the earth's magnetic field as a guide others 
follow the landmarks such as the mountains, rivers and coasts. Some use echoes and ocean waves to find their way. Birds use the sun, moon and the stars as their guides. Isn't it strange how animals find their way back to their home? One such example is salmon, Pacific salmon. Pacific salmon hatch in freshwater streams and live in the ocean for years. When it is time to lay their eggs, the salmon migrate. They go back to the same stream where they hatched. Some travels more than 2000 miles. They use their sense of smell to find the right stream. Hope you enjoyed learning today. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.